Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, as you can see, I fixed the thing, so this isn't a grassy field underground anymore. This is marble <laughs> now. Thanks for coming back to episode two. Uh, I think I literally just unpacked the thing into the folder again and it fixed it. I'll have, uh -huh. I'll have edited in some text and maybe a voiceover in the previous episode to let you know that we fix it in this episode. And uh, I will also have a video up again with a link to it. Uh, showing you just how to install this game without ever having that problem in the first place. Uh, I played a little bit between episodes on a different save file so that it's not associated with this, just to make sure that the textures and the whatever we want to call the, the graphics pack worked, and it did, and I learned a little bit more about the game, but we'll go over all of that on screen here. I see a bird. Yeah. You do? Magpie, right here. Do you see it? It's real yeah. small. Oh, oh yep, yeah. it's a magpie. Look at yeah. that. Little oh, flappy wing. Uh, by the way, uh, I hit tab a bunch. That's how I got rid of the, the weird useless world map on the far right there. So we have a little bit more screen mm -hmm. real estate now, which I like. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. Get a much better view. So I know now, you wanted this... to teach us brewing this episode. What else did we want to learn? Mm -hmm. uh, well, let's see. There's a lot of really little essentials. You know, like mm -hmm. I was telling you before we started recording, like there are different keys to view different things. Uh, like, you've been using K for the most part, just to look at what objects are. Yeah, I use K and I kind of just hover around. These are, this is a dead lentil plant. Oh Ooh. no. You can also Those use your lentils. mouse, interestingly enough. If I hover over things with my mouse, it'll say in the bottom right, like, hmm. carpenter's workshop with dark grass, soil floor, stuff uh, like that. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Huh. So that's been a little bit useful. I've used that a bit, and if I click on it, then I get the actual look menu. Um, mm -hmm. I've used that a little, but I'm still kind of just in the habit of using my keyboard. Mm -hmm. Um, and no. then, yeah, we're, okay, so we're digging out the individual bedrooms, and we're going to start making our proper base down here. I remember that. Oh, and I wanted us mm -hmm. to look at our job detail stuff. So if I remember right, that was not Zed, that was job list? Or was that uh, unit list? View would, unit is V? No, not that. Well, first you want to, yeah, first you want to back out of that and go to your unit list with you. Unit list with you, and then I want to hover over the guy I want, and I hit Z, I believe it was. That's right. For That's go right, to yeah. unit, and here we go. Now that we're hovering over them on the right, uh, Goku mm -hmm. is an adept miner, dabbling persuader, negotiator, judge of intent, intimidator, <laughs> conversationalist, comedian, and... Cons consoler, that's its own job, yep. okay. Yep. And uh, pacifier, and he's a competent dancer. Yeah. Uh, there's also a down arrow, is that more jobs? Uh, yep, press plus on your numpad and it'll scroll down that Oh, list. okay, so he knows a few dances. Yeah, those are individual dances that he has skill wow, in. Wow, that's awesome. So, uh, NVC novice? I think so, yeah. It kind okay. of removes some vowels yeah. to like, fit it on the screen. Okay, and then Sonic um, here is the same, but he's only an adequate dancer. Oh, he's an adequate musician and an obvious singer. And an obvious singer. <laughs> he knows some poetry. Okay. He knows more dances. He knows some music. Yeah. Okay, maybe we gotta like get him an instrument. I don't know what instrument he plays. Yeah, actually, uh, scroll down a little more, and it tells you he's a novice at playing the nog. What the fuck is a nog? That's a fictional instrument. A kind of fun thing in Dwarf Fortress is it makes up fictional instruments and, like, can actually describe them. That's awesome. How do I get the description of that? I want to know, like, is it percussion? Is it wind instrument? Like, what is it? Um, I think somebody has to actually build one at a workshop, and then you can get a description of how each instrument works. Oh, man. I really want to put my Twitter profile now that I am uh, I am an adept player of the Nog, but everyone's just going <laughs> to think it's a racial thing. Because <laughs> it totally Could sounds be. like one. <laughs> Could be, yeah. Okay, where are the other guys? I want to figure out their skills now. Um, so we already did go Goo and ah. Sonic. Brett Hart is way out in the middle of fucking nowhere. He's a proficient woodcutter, <laughs> talented carpenter, right? Because he's been doing quite a bit of carpentry. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a he's a dabbling flatterer. Okay. Oh. Uh, nice. Dancer, musician. That seems to be common. They, I guess everyone's bored as huh. hell and singing in their free time. Yeah, uh, I guess this is what dwarves do for fun. Oh, here we go. Percussionist, and he plays the nog and the stetsock. Stetsock. Uh huh. I guess that's how you pronounce and that. The and if I remember right, I think those instrument names will be different in every person's game. Okay. They're kind of like procedurally generated names. 
Of course, Drew Gulak is out in a field with Bret Hart. They're probably training. Proficient wrestler, Proficient wrestler. adequate dodger, adequate ambusher. Okay, yeah. Novice uh, teacher. That's, 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 he's a that's so appropriate because <laughs> Drew Gulak, uh, he teaches wrestling. Uh, he's a competent <laughs> dancer. Not surprised. He's got style. You might have made him a teacher. Did I? I might have. That is possible. He does teach people through PowerPoint presentations. Okay, Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> um, he's a adequate musician, competent percussionist, plays the Dustic and the Roduk. Ah, oh, of course. Oh, and there's a... Oh, fuck, fuck, oh, fuck. Uh -oh, oh, it's uh -oh, doing that uh -oh, again. Uh -oh, oh, no, where are you? Okay. Uh, Brandon is a brewer, grower, yeah, yeah. Come on, no, what are no, no, that's people? Godfrey. Oh, right, yes. Is this Brandon <laughs> or Godfrey? God, I, I <laughs> love whenever I get that comment. It's just it's so funny to me for some reason. Uh, provision grower, novice dancer. Of course, Pris Prince Alexander has less skills. Novice dancer, <laughs> instruments, the debish. How did he uh, learn how to the play debish. these things? We don't have any instruments, do we? Uh, it was probably in his old life in the mountain homes. Mm, okay. Yeah, uh, I noticed that uh, he's not very talented. Uh, now, this is bullshit, because we already know that Prince Alexander is proficient with wind instruments. He played the flute in King's Quest VI. Uh, we also well, know he's yeah. a spellcaster. And he is a dabbling negotiator, so he, he sort of is able to get a mint for free now and then. I, I feel like dabbling is about as high as he can go in most social situations. <laughs> um, yeah. Novice dancer. Novice is generous. Uh, proficient <laughs> grower, growing those mint plants. He should be uh, very talented at wind instruments. He's very good with the flute. We know that he's a good percussionist because he can play damn bones on a xylophone oh, of God. bones. Yes, yep. yes. I'm pulling out the yep. deep King's Quest six references. Um, yep. And, uh, dance, 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 music, poetry. Oh, we do know that he knows some poetry because he read the poetry books in Ollie's books. And by knows poetry, right. I meant he ripped a page out of a book and sent it with a bird to Kasima, who assumed it was from us. Uh, dick yep. move, Alexander. Tore a book out of the, or tore a page out of the book and then just left it there, right? Yeah. And the, and the fucking Ollie from Ollie's books is just like, Oh, yeah, that always falls out. You can have it. And it's like, no, we stole that. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is a, this is not a King's Quest VI tutorial series. I already let's played that game. Uh, this is actually a Dwarf Fortress tutorial series and Sonic Underground podcast. So please, yes. I think we should learn how to brew beer because that sounds absolutely okay. essential. Before we get to that, I want to show you something pretty cool. Uh, if you want to look at somebody's skills and you don't want to go through the unit menu, uh, press the V key on your keyboard. Oh. And so it'll give you a list of the skills of the nearest unit. That is very helpful. That is view units. Gotcha. Yes. It's different from the K key, but it has a very similar function. Okay. Uh, can I do that with the magpie? Or is it only my own units? Only my own units, got it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if there was another, like, intelligent unit, like an elf or a human on the screen, then you could view them the same way. Magpies aren't intelligent? <sighs> okay. Well, they don't have skills so much. I mean, they can probably sing, but... Yeah, yeah. they are proficient <laughs> singers, I'll have you know. I should think so. More so than Alexander. Okay, yes. so I want to start brewing, uh, because as yes. we all know, dwarves mostly drink beer, uh, or different kinds yes. of alcohol, less so than water. Water doesn't really do the job. That's right. It's not nearly as nutritious. Yeah, so, so. how do we start getting some brewing going? So, you're first going to want to hit B for buildings. Of course, and is this going to be a workshop? I believe it is, so press W... And it's called the still. Still, which is so L. The letter L. So, do I want to put this in my farming area? It's a good idea to have it nearby, sure. Okay, I'll put it right here. Uh, mm -hmm. So, I can make this out of. I don't need to specify this, do I? This yeah, doesn't look terribly no, important. I'll make it out of marble because I have a lot of marble. 
Sure. I don't know how you make a still out of marble, but we'll find a... I guess that's not for me to worry about. That's for the mason to worry about. Oh, yeah. Okay, you know, uh, think, we'll resume and let them do that. I think, actually, that the one who's going to build it is the brewer himself. Oh, well, the brewer can have fun learning how to be a mason, then. Yep. Oh, we uh, have uh, a farmer, maybe, who just picked that up, or is that a hauler? That's Godfrey, who is storing an item in a barrel, and he is a brewer and a grower. Okay, so he was just tending to the farm there. He's going yep. to the third floor? Or, no, first floor, because we have he barrels is. up topside, yeah. Yep, he's going to wherever your food stockpile is. Okay, so, now, is that actually a job of your farmers, what he just did, or would a hauler be able to pick it and put it in a barrel? Um, I believe that whenever plants are fully grown, anybody can just walk onto the farm and take it. Okay, so that's why I'm seeing a lot of different people coming in and grabbing it. Gotcha. So, those are plump helmets? Yes, those are the mushrooms. Okay. Called plump helmets. Okay, it looks like that brewer is done. So, yep. uh, what was the button? Was it, uh, what was the button to interact with this again? Uh, it's Q to... Q, yeah, to interact with a building. Yeah, okay, A. So I want to extract from plants. Would that be to brew a beer out of a plant? Uh, that's actually a different function. The one you want is brew drink from plant, but uh, you need... A, not available. It's, yeah, it's red right now. So the two things that you need to brew are any kind of plant. Well, not any plant, but, you know, some kind of plant. Plump helmets work. And okay. you also need empty barrels. So we need to make more barrels. Most likely. Okay, because we also have plump helmets in barrels, right? So uh, yes. barrel was V. So let's uh, let's just make a bunch of these. Let's get five of them going right now because I get the feeling that we're going to want to preserve a lot of food and beer and whatnot. So oh, yeah, definitely. wouldn't be a bad idea. Now, the barrels, can we leave them in a stockpile or should we be placing them around the place? Um, they will mostly go to a stockpile when you're not using them. Uh, okay. They, I forget if they go to a furniture stockpile or a finished goods stockpile. It's one or the other. Uh, well, I see a bunch of barrels down here. What kind of stockpile is that? That's, uh, that's a food, a food stockpile. stockpile. And it's, it's full of barrels and bags and stuff. Okay, so... Okay, so I should definitely be putting an indoor food one so wild animals aren't coming by and eating it. Right, that's a, definitely a good idea. Okay, well, let's set up um, some more um, designation, and then mining is the default one. Here we go. Uh, mm -hmm. You can also mouse control this a little bit, I found, but it's not terribly useful. Mouse controlling uh, this is actually clicking and dragging across, and it just gets every single square that your mouse hovers over, rather mm -hmm. than, like, dragging a box and then releasing, which would be more useful, which is why I still use the arrow keys a lot. Yeah, but sort of MS Paint style. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna... Big ass, big ass room right there that they can start digging out. Uh, get a head start on that. Yep. Okay, and he is... I see Brett mm. up there. He's taking wood to the carpenter shop, so he must be working on yep. those barrels for us. Yep, now I think he just took the last piece of wood out of your stockpile, so you might oh, need you to cut some yeah. wood down. Oh, it auto went to chop down trees. How did it know? Because I'm on the surface? Oh. Maybe. That's strange. Here we go. Okay. A couple of trees are marked for chopping. Bret Hart okay. has canceled making barrels because he's run out of logs. Okay. That's what yep. he said along the bottom. Okay. It looks uh, like he's already chopping trees. Good. And that will delete his work orders, right? I think so. I think it might cancel his task of making barrels. Oh, that yep. is obnoxious. Yeah. That is so obnoxious. Why does it do that? God, that's... <laughs> I don't know. Must have been a big tree. There is another way to make work orders that kind of gets around that, but that'll have to wait until you get some more migrants in. Okay, so that's okay. like uh, that's like um, people in government organizing it. Yes. Gotcha. Cool. Okay, it looks like he's back to work on that, and people are already moving the wood to the wood stockpile. Good. So he doesn't mm -hmm. need to walk as far, and plus they weren't doing anything anyway. Uh, so yeah. the brewer is done. So if I... Extract from plant is available now. Should I just do that now? Or sorry, brew from plant. Yes, and I would put that one on repeat. Just press R and they'll okay. do that forever until okay. they either run out of plants or run out of barrels. 
And I just need to periodically check back up on that if it gets deleted, if the order gets deleted. Right, you'll see the message at the bottom of the screen and you'll okay. know you either need more food or you need more barrels. Now, did I remember to designate this uh, room? Oh, that's the wrong button. This room down here as a eatery. How do I how do I do that? I um, think you press Q for that one. Okay, this yep. this is already assigned as a uh, a uh, dining room. A dining dining room, I guess. Yeah, and then this should be assigned as a barracks. Make bedroom. Let me just make this like a communal barracks for now. Yep. Here we go. So Actually, this is I a think... B for barracks or D for dormitory. I think dormitory is... Yeah, that sounds right. Okay, and then barracks would be for the army. Yeah, that's right. Okay, okay, there we go. Sweet. So that's something that I learned a little bit, just playing on the other file to make sure everything worked, is I learned how to make, like, a crypt and stuff, and that taught me mm -hmm. the general idea of making a room is you hit Q and you hover over the object associated with the room you want, and it'll ask you if you want it to be that room. Oh, mm -hmm. we've struck yeah. black zircon. Is that a kind of stone? I think it's a kind of gem. Oh, is that so, down here? Yeah, it must be uh, that gemstone yep. at the bottom there. Yeah. It must be that uh, that gem spear at the bottom here. Oh. <laughs> Reference to your old YouTube video -y. video oh, Callbacks. video Videoes. <laughs> video video no, since Good you've got those Lord. <laughs> You've got those bedrooms carved out. You could start I do. placing them in there instead. Right, I, I've got no reason not to start on getting some doors. So that's B, D mm -hmm. for door. There we go. Yep. See, look at that. I know how to play the game now. Yep. You're going to start yep. learning from me. I'm out of doors. <laughs> oh, no. You only now, had I doors. learned quickly. B, mm -hmm. W. Yeah. Where was it? Where was it? M for Mason. Yep. I need to start making shit out of um, out of stone because I'm going to be drowning in marble this game. That is true. Yep, yeah. you're going so, to have lots of yeah. stone. Uh, now beds can't be made out of stone though because we can't be that mean. Yeah, unfortunately. Need a bed seven. Oh, we have seven beds upstairs. That's what the yes. seven is. Okay. So you can use those same beds if you want to. Do you I know can just how to relocate them. Um, yes. I there's a not deconstruct um Q so first yep you'll want to press Q make and then... bedroom no control N for oh extra move building and then they'll move it to yep. the furniture stockpile That's gotcha right. gotcha okay so unfortunately it's not as streamlined as something like RimWorld where you can just say, hey, take this piece of furniture and move it over here. Yeah. They have to kind of move it to a stockpile first and then they can construct it in a new place. That's fine. Mm -hmm. I genuinely think at this point I'm probably gonna low pass the music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I might even just edit out the music and then put the music in so that if I cut around it doesn't like move the audio doesn't skip at all, and then low pass yeah. that. That um, is a good idea for sure. What I'm referencing, everybody, is the the song for this game has a horrible static sound over it, just at all times. And I can fix that in editing really easily. I don't know why it's like that in the game itself. Okay, so I want a bunch of doors. Yeah. There. Now, I one thing that. one thing that might be a good idea is to have your workshops be on a different floor from the bedrooms, because noise complaints can be a thing. Oh, Okay, well, I'll leave that there just for now, and then we'll relocate it not long after. Does it matter yeah, how many I, floors away? Um, well, I think, if I remember right from my old Dwarf Fortress mechanics, I think that it's something not too harsh, like five tiles away, they can hear noise from workshops. And that includes so you, vertically. Yes, so you could do it on the same floor, it would just have to be kind of farther away. Okay. Um... I need to place the beds now. That's what I was doing. B, B, mm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those will be some perfectly luxurious bedrooms for your dwarves. I think it'll actually be decent quality. Or tolerable. Yeah. Perhaps meager. <laughs> yeah, most of your average dwarves are just happy to have their own bedroom. Yeah, it seems like it. it. 
was it N? Yeah, this is how I check my nobility. And right. the only guy with a job right now is Bret Hart, and he doesn't require demand or mandate anything. What is mandate exactly? That's when the nobles will make a work order that they kind of demand. So they'll say something like, build five spears, and you know that'll just be an order that they give, and they'll be unhappy if you ignore their order to make five spears. Okay, so that mandate is not for the dwarves, that mandate is for me. Basically, yeah. Okay, me as the ethereal foreman of this base. <laughs> the will of the fortress. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do we have another door made yet? Um, BD, there we go. There we go. Just getting a door in that last bedroom. And mm -hmm. I've got to actually designate these as bedrooms, don't I? Yes. What happens if you don't? Does just no one use it? Yeah, they just won't use them, I think. That's done. And... If you wanted to get really micromanagey, you can even assign a bed to each dwarf. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with that until I have, like, nobles who want special things. Then I'm going to make them their own bedrooms and assign it to them. All right. So let's see. We should get your miners working on something. We should. I feel like they should pretty much always be doing something. Yeah, especially in the early game. You want them to always be working. So, yeah, you could carve out some more bedroom space or you could... Yeah. You could also go to a new floor and make kind of a workshop floor. I could, yeah. Uh, what was that? Oh, it's summer now, so it's saving. What was oh, yeah. the key for going up and down floors again? It's the, um, what are they called? Like the greater than, less than signs. Oh, uh, triangle brackets. Yes, those. Gotcha. Sorry, these saves take an eternity, everybody. Uh, <laughs> I have this on a solid state drive, too. It's just the game oh. is like this. Like, yeah. it's not It's not like my hard drive is overloading trying to do this. This is a solid state. There's nothing mechanical in there. Yep. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I'll probably s speed these up in editing. Uh, okay, hey, it I saved. Whew. I was worried it was crashed for a while there. That was like a minute Whoa, and a yeah. half. Took a good minute. Okay, um, so we're digging out some rooms. Um, you were saying triangle brackets? Yes, there we go. Yep, that's how you change your elevation. Okay, so that's up. And then, yeah, okay, so... yeah, we haven't gone down yet. So I remember, I did, let's see if I remember to do this. So D for designation. Then I want mm -hmm. I for up downstairs. Yep. I pick one of the corners, go to the yep. other corner, Go down mm -hmm. a bunch of floors. How many floors do we want to go down, actually? Uh, one, two, three, four, five? Um, maybe give it a Six few more. Six for safety? Six, seven, eight. Yeah, Why not? Yeah, I mean, yeah. they go up and down sure. stairs really fast. And then I hit enter. Oh, yeah. Yay. Yep. That did it. Yeah, and then I'll make, I'll make like, a zoom hotkey down there. Um, actually, you know what? There's yeah. no reason not to do it now. Yeah, it's, it's a good idea to do it right away on any floor that you're going to be building on. Okay, so setting up Zoom hotkeys, hotkey, hotkey. I'm just looking at uh, capital H, uh, uh -huh. and then I, whoop, I go to yeah, I want it there. I uh, F4, mm -hmm. and then Z for Zoom here, and then I escape out of that, and hell yeah, worked, sweet. All right. Okay. Uh, so we resume that. So we have the brewing still going, right? That didn't get canceled. No, that is still repeating. Good. Uh, mm -hmm. It looks like we have a lot more crops growing now. So they must have gotten a lot of seeds from the last harvest. That's good. Yeah. I saw that dwarf down there walked over there with a fish. He must be eating a raw fish because we don't. <laughs> I don't think we have a cook, do we? Um. No, I don't think so. Is eating raw fish safe for dwarves? How is their immune system? Well, I think normally they don't eat raw fish. I think they won't eat it unless it's prepared. Okay. Okay. But so he was eating a fish that was prepared in some way. That might have been from our food stock when we started the game. I think that's most likely because you don't have a fish or dwarf right now. Yeah, that's true. I wouldn't mind fishing, actually, because we're quite close to some to a stream. It's right there. Mm. Oh, I'm yeah. sure we could get some fish going there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we've got digging going, uh, we have our mason's workshop, we have brewing going, we have a farm going, we have individual bedrooms, we have a small dining room, we'll probably relocate that. Um, yeah. What else? So we have four people idle right now, and that's... Um, mm -hmm. Our mason is idle, we can have him making doors. Um, Bret Hart's idle, we can make some barrels. 
Uh, mm -hmm. Gulak is a hunter and he's idle, so we'll have to learn how to hunt. And Prince Alexander is a talentless hack, so he can just do whatever he wants. Yeah. The thing about Drew Gulak there is he can't really hunt unless he has a crossbow, which I'm pretty sure you don't have. Okay, well, we don't know how to make that right now, do we? That sounds advanced. No. I mean, yeah. that it was quite far into the Middle Ages when we learned the invention of a crossbow. Um, well, animal traps? Would an animal trap? Maybe. Honestly, animal traps are something I've not really used very much, so I'm not entirely sure how they work. Well, I'll queue up a couple just so we have them. Uh, I also queued up a couple barrels. Do we want to make any wooden training equipment? Um, hmm. I don't think it's really necessary, actually, because when you have a military, they can just train with their real weapons, and, you know, they will show enough restraint so that they won't really oh. harm each other with Okay. Them. I was going to say, are you sure we're not going to lose an arm? Like, I kind of want my soldiers to have fingers. Yeah, they they're, they know how to be gentle enough with each other when they're sparring. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, instrument piece, enormous wooden core? That's enormous wooden corkscrew, which is a trap component and a oh. pump component. Okay. Um, Stepladder? Dwarves are short, right? Oh, step letters are actually pretty useful. They can use those to get fruit out of trees. Okay, I'll get a couple of those going. A uh, bookcase. We Why we not? Are, we're learned people. Why not? Mm -hmm. um, splint and a crutch. I feel like it wouldn't be a bad idea to have a couple of those on hand. Right. I think you embark with a few of those. I think you're right. I know that using a crutch is a skill you can learn. It is. You yeah. have instrument so piece. It, so if a dwarf lost a leg or something, they would become really good at walking with a crutch. Okay, well, they'd have to, I guess. And, th mm -hmm. and that's actually interesting as a mechanic, is that it it's realistic. If you lost a leg and you had to use a crutch for the rest of your life, because we don't have prosthetic limbs, I guess, um, <laughs> they it would make sense that you would really suck at it, and that, you know, a few mm -hmm. years later, you'd be awesome at it. You'd still never be as good as having two legs, but it is genuinely a skill, so I think that's really cool. Okay, so uh -huh. Brett's got his work cut out for him. He's got a lot of carpentry to do now, so it's good to have him working. Um, mm -hmm. I may as well have Shadow working on something down here. So let's uh, let's preemptively just get a bunch of doors. We're going to be making doors the whole game. Yep. Doors are always good to have. Uh, tables and chairs are also good, because you'll be adding good something idea. to the dining room. Um... The mining is going good. Uh, have they started on down there? They haven't gotten down there, but one of them might be yeah. working on it. Uh, so the only people who are idle. Am I missing a person on this list? No, you have seven. I have seven people, but I only see six people. Oh, God, I do have seven people on the list. I, For some reason, um, the gray bar of Goku looked mm. like a header, like a divider. So I wasn't registering oh, yeah. that as, oh my God, that, that messed with me. Okay. Um, okay, so we're being pretty productive right now. Oh, you oh discovered an expansive underground cave, and the game auto-paused. Yeah.